what is going on guys welcome back to the fox den and today we have to reshoot the transformation video let's just get right to the point um so as you guys know i did lower uh the g and that is essentially why i have to reshoot it not a lot of room to show you guys right now but it looks a lot better so yeah uh, it's just gonna be a little mini vlog um kind of like a bonus video for this week and like i said we're gonna head to the same spot and uh just reshoot it and just do a, like i said a little mini vlog on it and uh yeah that's pretty much the plan so guys we do have one more mod coming for the g or possibly two actually um we are going to be wrapping the interior of the g with 5d reflective uh carbon fiber vinyl wrap we're going to wrap all this all this um not the paddle shifters i have other plans for that uh everything uh like all the silver trim is all going to be wrapped the back is also going to be in the doors locked. The back will also be wrapped, um, which is going to be a pain because I have to remove the door panels. I don't know exactly how to do that yet. I'm sure it's not that hard, but uh, that will be uh, something I need to figure out. And of course, the shift knob. Hopefully in a few months, I'm actually going to um, replace that shift knob with a, a Q60 shift knob. Yes, they do fit in here. Um, it's just a better looking shift knob overall. But for now, uh, we're just going to wrap it. Um, who knows, maybe I'll like it and uh, I'll keep it uh, just with the wrap on it. But that is the plan for that. Um, that'll happen within the next two weeks, hopefully. Uh, hopefully before uh, Christmas, it'll get done. And shout out to my guy, Moogie. He is going to be wrapping it for me because I, um, I suck at wrapping. Uh, so he's going to hook me up. Uh, so really appreciate that. So anyway, guys, let's get going. Um, like I said, this is just a little mini vlog. It'll be shorter. So... Um, just wanted to get you guys a bonus video for this week and uh, yeah, we'll go get some more uh, shots and some more pictures for the Instagram and then uh, we'll be uh, all set. I know you guys want to hear it. So guys, it is cold today. It's going to be freezing up there. So I want to try and make this quick, but I also uh, want to make it as good as last time if not better. I do have my tripod in the back. Um, only problem is I broke the tripod shooting the exhaust video. If you've watched the Is the Motordyne Worth $2,000 video, I broke it in that video. That's how I broke it. So hopefully I can use it. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I can. I've used it a couple times since then, but not really that much, but hopefully it will work. I do have another tripod somewhere, but I cannot find the thing, so that sucks. So guys, I'm happy to say that this new shotgun mic is working very, very good. Uh, the sound has been improved, but also the main concern was the wind noise. That has been cut down a ton. It's so much better. You can hear me in the wind, and it'll get a real test today when we go to the top of this parking garage where it's always windy. And I'm real glad to see that. Hopefully it's the same uh, for going up to this parking garage because it's very windy up there. But I think it's going to be fine. Um, it's been really good so far, so hopefully that will continue. So let's go and uh, get this done. Oh God, guys, LaGrange Road traffic, it just never gets old. The things I do for you guys, all for you guys, love you all. Still 
All right, take two. There's definitely not going to be anything else visual done to the car on the outside, so I think uh, we'll be all right. The sun isn't in quite the same spot as last time, but it will definitely do. All right, tripod, don't fail me now. I really hope I can use this tripod. I'm a little concerned about that, to be honest. Oh, there's that idol I love. I've had at least seven people tell me it sounds like a V8. I'm glad I'm not the only one that thinks that. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah. I'll show you guys uh, how what I mean when I say this thing's broken. So, look at that right there. And see how that one is? Yep, so you can imagine this leg keeps popping off. And that's not really a big deal. Um, I could probably get a really small bolt and put it through there, but I think I'll just have to find my other tripod. Honestly, my other tripod was much better quality anyway, but um, it is what it is. I just always gravitated to this one for some reason. Oh, it's not too windy up here today, actually. Last time it was really windy. There's like just a little breeze, that's about it. So anyway, we're gonna get this reshot. Uh, let me show you guys uh, what this looks like now. Um, so obviously we did the Swift, 4N907 lowering springs, and what? Dude, I didn't think it was gonna make this big of a difference, but it's more than just the wheel gap that it filled in, it's the whole car itself. It just looks so much better, man. It's, man, I am so glad that I did that. It's just amazing the way this car looks now. It's just so much more aggressive, it handles better. Um, yeah, it, it just highly recommend them. Um, unfortunately, I was not able to get uh, in the stock alignment specs, but it is uh, close enough to where it's not going to be a big issue. Um, so just keep that in mind if you do the 4907s. You won't be able to get the exact stock alignment specs. You're going to be a little out of spec if you do these. Um, but it's close enough to where uh, it shouldn't be that big of an issue. Your tires just might wear a little bit faster. Um, but it drives perfectly smooth and all that stuff, and I will be doing a review video on these uh, probably next week, so be on the lookout for that, and yeah, let's, uh, we got a video to shoot here. I, I got stuff to do. Uh, I actually gotta stop at the pet store on the way home for my uh, lizard, so let's get this done. Okay, we got the new transformation video shot, or at least the actual cinematic uh, parts of the car, which I shot up here before, so. That's great, and I'm glad I did it because the car looks completely different with these lowering springs. I mean, you can totally see it. I mean, if you can compare uh, these shots versus the old shots, you can totally see the difference. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna pack up. We're gonna head over there, get some pics, and head on home. Well, I gotta stop the store, but this car is looking great now, man. Those Swift springs are so worth it. Man, what a difference. Like I said, it's not just the wheel gap that changes, it's the whole car. The whole car just looks different. Anyway guys, that's going to wrap up this uh, little mini vlog here. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Next week we will have the video on the Swift lowering springs, uh, the review video on them, how I feel about them, and uh, my overall review. That's why it's called the review video. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Uh, if you have not seen the first ever Fox Pack Cruise video, make sure you watch that. It was a banger. And hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at SilverFox37. Don't forget to follow our new racing club at SilverFox Racing Group. And make sure you subscribe because there's a lot of hassetry to come. So subscribe and join the Fox Pack today. We got a lot of stuff with those snowmobiles coming. And you're not going to want to miss that SRX because it does 0 to 60 in 4 seconds. That's going to be some awesome video. Remember, life is too short to stay stock and it's only legal if you get caught. Stay foxy and we will see you guys next time. Wow. <laughs>